Uh, he's a good friend of mine, seen him do lots of gigs, getting better and better, he's kicking ass. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Charles Anderson! Dear Diary, welcome to another open mic vlog. I just came back from a gig down on the Gold Coast at the Dog and Parrot Tavern. Uh, if there's one thing I've learned during my time in Brisbane, it seems that the further south you go, the better gigs get. Just the better audiences are in general. You go to North Lakes, and it's shit. And you go down to Brisbane, it gets it gets better, it gets better, it gets better. You get to Gold Coast, ah, oh, they're great, audience love it. And then you get to Byron, and they're all stoned, and they'll laugh at anything. But no, tonight was the Gold Coast. It's a new room. It's only been going for like a month, or a couple of months or so. This is my first time trying it. I've heard good things about it, and I gotta say, I was not disappointed. Great crowd, uh, really into it. Even though they didn't seem to know that the comedy was on, they were still into it, which, frankly, is awesome. I'm a twato natural. <laughs> Tonight, I, I did try the same long bit that I spoke about in Logan. It's a good seven, eight minute bit. I wasn't gonna do it tonight. I was actually gonna do my transvestite act, do a few new jokes. I found out that we can do five to 10 minutes here. So I was like, oh, screw it. I'm gonna try. I, I'm gonna try this again. I'm not a big fan myself of doing the same set twice. I've got ADD. I, I, I like different things all the time. I figured I've got the time. May as well do this tonight. And laughing at you each time you fuck. <laughs> it went reasonably well. Uh, the whole first part of the joke, that went far better than in Logan. Kaleidoscope. <laughs> Still haven't figured a way to explain the theory of evolution in a funny way. I think I've got it as funny as I will get it, but hey, uh, fingers crossed I might make that funnier. I hope. I mean, how do you make the theory of evolution funny? That an abnormality is born when enough people fuck that abnormality and it has little abnormal babies and that abnormality becomes normal, therefore evolution. I did add one uh, new bit that I did have the idea about before, but I didn't put it into words. This time I put it in. I fucked a gorilla. I called him Gorilla Gorilla in Latin. Uh. <laughs> uh. Also a second bit that I added that was meant to be in it in Logan, but I knew that the Logan audience wouldn't be into it at all. It's about dinosaurs and global warming. But this crowd, they seem to like that. So that's good. I think that was more in the delivery than the funniness of the joke. When they start realizing that they're fucking up the planet, they'll stop. <laughs> I'll have to try it a few more times, of course. Some bits didn't go as well as in Logan, whereas some bits went much better. The whole punchline of the joke kind of didn't go as well enough, and I played it to be uh, a self-referential joke about it not working this time, rather than what the punchline is. Don't worry, some asexual in Gold Coast will find it hilarious and try and explain to people, but they won't like it. <laughs> And that did work to an extent, but I also wanted to finish on a big laugh. So uh, unlike last time, this time I actually just finished on a joke that I have uh, normally. I want to shoot myself in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> just to get that laugh so I don't feel so bad afterwards. I wanted to feel good about tonight. And I did. It was a good night. Gold Coast rooms are great. I fucking love them. I did try one technique that I learnt early on which is to have a, a drink with you on stage. When you have a drink with you on stage, you're able to just take a sip at every punchline to give the joke time to sink in. Soggy sandwich, you know? <laughs> uh, that was one thing I noticed in the recording of the last um, time I tried this, was I wasn't pausing. I was just going joke, 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 just so... I. Honestly, I didn't want to hear them not laugh, so I was just going to plow through, whereas this time, I figured I had to control myself, so I had a drink. Now, I have tried that technique a few times before. I tried it to great success during the Fringe Festival and Weird and Beard. Da Vinci was really ahead of his time, you know, really into Instagram and <laughs> And I also tried it at Newmarket once. Now, at Newmarket, it went pretty well. I didn't need to move around too much, but... At Weird and Beard, it went really well, but that's because I had a table there to rest the drink on. Hashtag wrong hole. Uh, <laughs> uh, tonight, I didn't have a table. I had it in my hand. Thank you. We've got to swap hands here. <laughs> and I, I forgot that I am very talkative with my hands. I need 
uh, my hands to express myself a lot. So holding a cup in my hand kind of limits that a lot. Ah, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five. <laughs> never gets old. Like even at the start when I was trying to move the microphone stand, I fucking couldn't. I was trying to move it with my leg. Um, so. At one time I accidentally spoke into the wine glass instead of the microphone at the very end. Uh, Stop with one hand. Don't talk into your wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that I pass it off as that's what I was meant to do. That was my joke. Uh, talking to wine glasses. But no, I just fucked that up. Yeah, really great crowd. Uh, the guy who closed the first bracket, he did really well. He was actually only a new comic. This was like his first time or something. So he was only meant to have a five minute spot. But then he went for 10. And then he went for 15 and then he went for 20 he went for 20 minutes if you are a new comic i advise you stick to the time limit don't go over you know we, we, you're given that a lot of time so we all have time on stage you, you don't want to take 25 minutes and the second thing being the fact that he was doing joke book jokes jokes that he didn't write himself now i know there are some people like that but Really, you're lying to yourself and you're lying to the audience. That's the great thing about comedy. That's what I love about comedy. And that's the scary thing about comedy. It's all you on stage. There's nothing that anyone else is in putting in. It's all you. You've written the jokes. You're saying the jokes. You're making the funnies. So when, you, when you're using joke books, it's just... It's not real. We know those jokes work because they've worked for hundreds of years. Probably not hundreds. Probably just tens. Anyway, good gig, G good crowd, liked it. Um, I will be trying out this material more often. I'll probably be using a set whenever my next gig is, though. I'm going to leave you on that. You guys subscribe to check out the next two comics. Uh, there were two other comics who were there tonight, Richie and Nick. So subscribe so you make sure you check their videos. Like it, give it a thumbs up. Are there still thumbs? I can't remember. And share it. And probably other things. I'm tired. Good night.